Hi, I'm Anton Roundy. If you've heard of or maybe even tried using an RSS parser to display RSS feeds on your website, but haven't really caught the vision of why people get so excited about it, let me show you a bunch of examples of how I'm using my RSS parser, Carp Evolution, on my own websites. On the Gecko Tribe homepage, I use Carp to display the most recent video I've uploaded from YouTube. When I post a new video, it updates automatically. Also on this page, I'm using Carp and another of my scripts, Tetra, to aggregate the latest posts from a bunch of my blogs and display them in this scroller. On this page, about RSS, I use CARP to display the latest YouTube video search results for the keyword RSS, and you can play the videos right here on the page. Here at CoreData.info, I use CARP and Tetra to aggregate the latest news from a couple of tech news sites and blogs and scroll them across the bottom of the page. Also on CoreData.info, I have the NetPulse news page where CARP displays the latest search results from Twitter, blog search, YouTube and News Search with search terms taken from Google Trends. And by the way, Cordata.info is an RSS feed directory where previews of the RSS feeds are displayed and kept up to date automatically using CARP. Speaking of directories, CARP also powers my podcast directory, podstack.com. Uh, with the help of the free one pixel out audio player, CARP displays on page audio players that you can use to listen to the latest episodes of podcasts. You can also create your own personal podcast listening station by subscribing to podcasts from the directory. On whitehatcrew.com, I use CARP in three places. First, this middle column. These are the latest blog posts from the White Hat Crew blog. Second, on the left side, I use it to aggregate the latest blog posts from a bunch of my other websites. And third, over here on this side, I use CARP to display my latest product reviews. It pulls those in from the reviews category of my blog using the category RSS feed. Inside the White Hat Crew blog, I use CARP and a WordPress plugin I created called Twidget WP to display my latest Twitter updates. As an Amazon affiliate, I also use it with another WordPress plugin named CARP WP to display Amazon ads in my blog posts and also YouTube videos. Here on GuruStalker.com, that's Guru-Stalker.com, I used it to grab the attention of an internet marketing guru that I wanted to work with, and it worked. CARP displays all three columns of content here. The latest blog posts from the Guru Stalker blog, YouTube videos based on a search for this marketer's name, and blog search results for his name. On linkcontext.com, which is an RSS-powered link and content exchange service, I use CARP to display previews of the RSS feeds people can exchange links and content with. And on the web pages where I'm doing link exchanges, CARP is used with Link Context's WordPress plugin to display the latest blog posts from my link partners. This is my RSS feed reader, Lobster, which is powered by CARP. I use it to keep up on the latest content from a whole bunch of websites, including what all my friends are posting on Twitter. And if I want to tweet about something, I just click here, select which of my Twitter accounts I want to tweet through, edit the tweet, and click tweet, all without leaving my RSS feed reader. On chesshounds.com, I use CARP to display the latest news search results for chess-related news and the latest headlines from my chess blog. And using CARP with an add-on script called YesTube, I created a custom YouTube video player that plays the latest chess videos. On the CARP homepage, you can see a bunch of examples of how CARP can be used to display things like content that can be expanded and collapsed, multi-column tables, and various other things. If you do a search for a newsfeed display by CARP, in quote marks, you'll find thousands of examples of how people are using CARP, some more interesting than others. And by the way, the CARP README tells you exactly how to turn off that message if you don't want it displayed on your website. On the CARP homepage at www.geckotribe.com slash rss slash carp, you can download a free copy of CARP Evolution 
or if you want all the plugins, the scroller script, and so on, you can get them all in the RSS Super Pack. I hope this video has sparked a few ideas for you of how you could enhance your website and reuse your own blog content more easily and effectively using an RSS parser like Carp Evolution. Thanks for watching.